I get more work done on a quiet morning. I could even think of better solutions for difficult problems. My name is Shinsuke Shindo, and I'm a junior and the student council president in one of the most elite schools in Japan, called Hoho Academy. Shinsuke, get a life, you bastard. Your pathetic little punk reform movement is annoying the hell out of everyone. Her name is Ryuko Fudo, and she's a senior. She's the daughter of the Fudo company president, but she's the leader of a few delinquents in our academy, and always dresses this way. You know, you're ruining your beautiful face with that scary look. B beautiful Wait, what the hell are you- Don't try to change the subject! We've lost another one in our squad again, all because of you! I can't stand it anymore. You're the only one who's annoyed by the movement, don't you think? If anything, you're the one who's annoying everyone because you've increased the number of delinquents in this elite school. I'm the only student council president in this academy's history who got this position as a first year student. And now I'm in my second term. I've accomplished many things, but there's one thing missing. That is, to reform all of you. I won't be satisfied unless I make that happen. What the hell? Are you trying to break us up? I'll never let that happen. My buddies are just looking for peace of mind. Peace of mind? Yeah, my buddies used to trust their parents and study hard to get into this elite school, but now they're beginning to feel like something isn't right. All of them are struggling because their personalities are crushed. They're using their fashion and hairstyles to express their feelings. They fight sometimes, but they're all good people. Are you also one of them, Ryuko-senpai? Are you looking for peace of mind? What is it that you suffer from? Shut up, it's none of your business. Enough is enough, I challenge you. Do you mean a fight? I won't waste my time doing such a thing. It's not a waste of time. If you win, I'll go along with your punk reform movement and start living an honest life. I see. Since you insist, let's call it a match and settle the matter. What the hell do you mean by a match? It had hurt the reputation of our academy with such a rich history if I openly engaged in a fight as student council president. Why don't we compete in judo? Interesting. I'm confident in judo because I've practiced it since I was a kid. What about the rules? No rules. Whoever says, you got me, loses. How does that sound? Bring it on. I'll make you cry. The next day after school, I had a no-rule judo match with Ryuko-senpai in the judo hall. Go get him, Ryuko! Hey, you're a black belt? You never told me. Third degree black belt to be exact. I didn't think I needed to tell you because there were no rules. Many students came to see the match, and Ryuko-senpai's disciple, Santaro Hebizuka, was also there to cheer for her. Uh... Fujigari, huh? You sure know your way around judo. No! Man, he's strong. He's a man of studies and sports. <sighs> Alright, I got you down. Huh? Hey, wait! Well, say you got me and I'll let go of you. Are you kidding me? Get off of me! I thought the match was over with your one-arm shoulder throw. This is a no-rule judo match, remember? It's not over until one of us says you got me. What the? That's not right! This is getting us nowhere. How about this, then? Tickle, tickle, tickle! Tickle, tickle, tickle! No! <laughs> stop it! You got me! I said you got me! Just stop it! No! I won the no-rule match by finishing her off with my tickle attack. What happened to you, Ryuko? That was a bit of a letdown, don't you think? Santaro, sorry to disappoint you, but we gotta break up our squad. Now that I've lost to Shinsuke, we have to follow the movement and change our ways. No way! I thought I finally belonged somewhere! A promise is a promise. It is what it is. But I'm not satisfied with the way things are going. Hey. As Ryuko Senpai's disciple, Santara worshipped her so much that he would do anything for her. 
two weeks later. Hmm? I haven't seen Ryuko-senpai since the match. I expected her to storm into the student council room the day after, but I was wrong. When I asked Santaro about her, he told me she hadn't been to school for a while because of me. The same day after school, I was on my way home alone in the rain. Hmm? Wait, what is she doing? How are you doing, buddy? Nobody took you in, huh? I got you some yummy chicken today. You look cold. I wonder if I can get you out of the rain. Ryuko-senpai! Shinsuke, why are you here? You'll startle the puppy if you yell like that. A puppy in the rain. Classic. Anyway, are you gonna keep it? No, I can't keep him because I live in an apartment. Do you live alone? It's none of your business. You're right. Well, I'll bring him to my house. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, we live in a single-family home, so it's not a problem. Shall we go, then? Go where? To my house. You're soaking wet, Ryuko-senpai. You'll get sick if you stay like that. My house is nearby, so we'll be there in a minute. Who said I'd go with you? <sighs> uh, it's chilly. Please don't be so stubborn for no reason, and just come with me. Let's go. I'll cut you to pieces if you do anything stupid. You're all dry now. Buddy, this is your home from today. So cute! Sh Shinsuke, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the puppy. Oh. He seems to be attached to you. I kept going back there to see if someone had taken him in. You know, you might get weak without food. I was worried. You're actually very kind. What? By the way, I won the match the other day, so please be sure to keep your promise. I know! Hey, Shinsuke, why are you so serious about trying to change me? To accomplish my goal. Besides, I thought being a delinquent didn't suit you when I first met you. Maybe it's because you're the daughter of the Fudo Company president. Stop! Don't talk about my family! You act tough, but something tells me you're trying too hard. You really are a kind and friendly person, aren't you? The way you are with the puppy is the real you. Am I wrong? Don't analyze me like that! Being smart can hurt others sometimes. Just stop with the whole punk reform stuff. You're gonna take away the last place I belong to. I'm only comfortable when I'm with my squad. I grew up in comfort when I was little, and people probably assume I have nothing to worry about. I was forced to walk the path my parents set for me, study for many exams and attend extra after-school activities. They even punished me for asserting myself. I'd given up and followed what my parents wanted until middle school. But then, one day, I realized the only reason people approached me was to get close to my wealthy parents. So I left home when I started the academy. I work part-time, but my parents still support me financially. I hate myself for not being completely independent, so I plan to work full-time and support myself once I graduate from the academy. Thank you for sharing that. I can't stop the delinquent reform movement because that's my pledge as student council president. If there's no place you can find peace of mind, you can come here to see the puppy every day. I don't mind. You don't even have to talk to me, you know. Just come and hang out with him. Jeez. I don't know how that happened, but words slipped out of my mouth. Ryuko-senpai seemed embarrassed as she patted the puppy. We didn't say a single word to each other until her clothes were dry. The next morning, I was greeting students at the school gate as a part of our student council activities. I'll shut you up for good this time. I've prepared for this day. Santaro, I hope you'll come around. Would you change your behavior if I defeated you? Good morning. Huh? What the hell? Why are you dressed like that? I'm just wearing an academy-designated school uniform, that's all. No way! What's got into you? Well, I lost to Shinsuke. I'm done being a punk. I told you that our squad was breaking up, didn't I? It doesn't feel right! Do you have any idea how much I've done for you, Ryuko? Well, still, I lost. It is what it is. 
It's all because of you! I think it's time for you to do the right thing. After yelling at me, Santoro ran off to the opposite end of the school building. Once again, good morning, Ryuko-senpai. The student council has to start working early, huh? Must be tough. It's so nice to hear words of appreciation for my effort from you. Not bad, right? Well, at least sometimes. Hey, about Santaro. Will you give him some time? I'll make sure he'll come around. Oh, and say hi to Black Thunder for me. Hmm? Black Thunder? Do you mean the puppy? Yeah. That's some name you chose. I'm not quite sure if that matches his looks. That contrast is what makes him even perfect. Like I said, please feel free to visit Black Thunder. I'm busy during weekdays this week, so why don't you come over this weekend? Can I get your number? Sh sure Ryuko-senpai looked shy and gave me her number. Her facial expression I'd never seen before took me by surprise. On the weekend, I was taking a walk with Black Thunder as my daily routine. Hey, Black Thunder. Today, Ryuko-senpai is coming to see you. That'll be fun. Oh, someone's calling me. Hello, Ryuko-senpai. How are you? Sorry, I can't make it today. Oh, really? I was just talking to Black Thunder about you. Sentaro got trapped by some students from another school. He was with me all these years, and I can't leave him alone. I'll come with you. I can't drag the student council president into this. Besides, I did it to myself. Gotta go. Woof, 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 woof. What's wrong? Huh? Is that Ryuko-senpai? Black Thunder was trying to drag me toward Ryuko-senpai, so I picked him up and hurried toward her while talking on the phone. Hey, I'm here! It's Ryuko Fudo! Ryuko! We've been waiting for you! Sentaro, what the hell is this? I thought you got trapped. What? What's with your outfit? It's like you've become powerless! But that's not important. Ryuko, I've gathered some guys for you. Let's beat up the evil president and take the power away from him! I won't pretend to be someone I'm not. If this is what you want, you'll have to do it on your own, Centaro. Oh, I see you. I guess it's true that you're in love with that guy. What? Wh who's saying that? Well, the way you're panicking right now says the rumor is true. Our leader let love get in the way, and now she's trying to tear us apart. Don't you call it a betrayal? And Ryuko, do you know what happens to traitors? Ugh, I know, but I won't let anything happen to me. What? what? Sh Sh Shinsuke? When I was walking Black Thunder, he saw Ryuko-senpai standing far away and started to run. I had to follow him. I'm glad you're trying to keep your promise. I gave you my word. Ugh. Why are you two in your little world? Santaro, let's drop this. See, Ryuko-senpai is trying to move on. I'm gonna beat you up along with our ex-leader. Hey, Shinsuke, just take Black Thunder and leave. This has nothing to do with you. <sighs> I was hoping to talk it out, but I guess I have no choice. Guys, come out now. Huh? What's going on? Could these guys be the legendary biker gang? The Black Dragons? The president of our academy was a member of the Black Dragons? The frightened cronies scattered and fled. All right, Santoro. <gasps> what should we do? Should we continue? I'm, I'm sorry. Santoro walked away. Losing his balance, and it was just Ryuko-senpai and me alone. So, I have a bit of a past. Looks like it. You came here to help me all along, right? I'm guessing you called your crew in advance, and that's how they came out at the perfect time. Yeah, something like that. I want you to like me. Be my boyfriend. No, please go out with me so we can marry in the future. Huh? Before getting into that, let's resume our date. We're going for a walk with Black Thunder. Date. 
I held hands with Ryuko-senpai, and we started to walk together. On a quiet morning in the student council room, we sit next to each other and work toward our goals. Ryuko-senpai, you're working so hard this morning. There's this question I don't understand, and I thought maybe you could help me. As long as it's not too ahead, since I'm still a junior. Are you still planning to get a job after you graduate? Yeah, I want to be independent. I won't be receiving any financial support from my parents. I like a quiet student council room in the morning. But I don't mind when things get a little loud. Kind of like someone I know, if you know what I mean. Are you talking about me? Is that supposed to be a response to my feelings? Yeah. If your scores on the next mock exam are higher, do you want to go somewhere with me to relax? Really? I'd love to. One day, I'd like you to tell me directly that you like me. Ryuko-senpai smiled, and I scratched my head, trying to hide my embarrassment. I pretended to be doing my student council work as I watched her smile and secretly thought about where I could take her in my head. <laughs>